Welcome everyone. Third quarter 2022 earnings season is upon us. And I know there's a lot of bad news out there. We all have the jitters headed into this earnings season because we don't know what wild curveballs companies are going to throw us, how that's going to affect the stocks that we own. But I'm here today with a little bit of good news to kick off Q3 Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, ticker symbol TSM. So they just reported their third quarter. Last night while we were sleeping, they were doing their earnings call and things were quite good. So I'll just run through a really quick recap here of what things looked like in Q3 for, for TSM. Net revenue was $20.2 billion, which came in close to the top end of their guidance. And it was actually a 36% year-over-year increase, $20.2 billion. So big jump. Semiconductor demand is alive and well. Gross margin on products sold was 60.4%. That actually beat their guidance, the top end of their guidance, by almost one percentage point. And 60.4% was actually over nine percentage points higher than a year ago. Operating margin, 50.6%. Again, blowing away the company's own guidance. That was a 9.4 percentage point increase year over year. This company is really hitting it out of the park right now. Uh, leader in chip manufacturing for companies around the world. And it looks like they are going to hold on to that lead for some time to come, even though Samsung and Intel are working really hard to play catch up here on the technology front. TSM is where it's at. However, there are some issues that we need to address. As you probably know, TSM stock is down over 50% from its all-time high that it reached uh, at the beginning of 2022. This is a cyclical business, as can be expected with any manufacturer, including semiconductor manufacturers. TSM, to its credit, is less cyclical than a lot of chip manufacturers, but the market treats it like a highly cyclical stock anyways. And so this thing is all over the board right now. Add to it the fact that a lot of chip companies have been saying there's excess inventory out there on the market, especially in consumer electronics. We already talked about Micron and how they see declines in PCs and smartphones. The second half of 2022 lasting through maybe the first half of 2023, production is going to be down as consumer spending kind of writes the excess inventory that's out there. That's going to hit TSM. And then also the other big issue here is the U.S. just announced new restrictions on exports on semiconductor and semiconductor equipment exports to China. So this is a really, really hot topic. Uh, it's a dangerous topic because it's politics. And this is really stoking fears that, that maybe these bans push China into maybe invading Taiwan because they've stated pretty clearly they would like to reunify the island of Taiwan with the rest of the mainland China. I don't know what's going to happen with that. However, the government in Taiwan did say they will comply with U.S. rules. Taiwan Semiconductor has said they will also comply with these new rules as well when exporting actual chips to China. But to quote management on the earnings call, they did say that these new chip bans are minimal and manageable at this point. Longer term, they said, we'll see. We should get some updates in the following quarters. But for now, I think the takeaway here is these bans are minimal and manageable. So maybe a little bit of good news there for TSM in dealing with the China chip restrictions. But really, the bigger issue that management talked about here are those consumer electronic spending issues as consumers work through the excess inventory. And in the meantime, a lot of companies ease off on their production. And a couple of charts here just to illustrate why that's the case. Uh, TSM's revenue by platform, you can see in the third quarter of this year, 41% was smartphone. Um, 
that's where a lot of this the spending is going to come down. Also, HPC, that stands for high performance compute at 39%. A lot of that is data center, but some of it is also, also GPUs, graphics processing units. The company said we could see a little bit of weakness there in the next couple of quarters, and they really just echoed what other companies have been saying. This inventory issue should be worked out by the middle of 2023. The good news is some of this correction has already happened. If we look at the same chart that the company presented for the third quarter of 2021, you can see smartphone revenue was actually 44%. This year, it's 41%. So some of that inventory correction might already be occurring. And in the meantime, their IoT or Internet of Things, their automotive segments appear to be holding steady. So just a quick recap on TSM, huge quarter, lots of growth. Expect to see this growth to moderate, maybe even start to flatline in the fourth quarter and the first half of 2023. But the stock market per usual sniffed this out. It knew that this slowdown was coming. Stock is already down over 50%. Shares at this point, uh, I'm gonna be optimistic here and say trade for 18, 19 times trailing 12 month free cash flow. We'll see how the stock responds in the coming days and weeks as more data comes out on the industry and on the global economy. But overall, if you're looking for a chip manufacturing company to invest in, this company is still in the lead. It looks like it's going to continue to be in the lead for at least the next few years while Samsung and Intel try to play catch up. This is a great stock. This is a great company. And it was a little bit of good news to kick off third quarter 2022 earnings season. As usual, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, consider subscribing below. And if you found it particularly helpful and think it could be useful to others, consider sharing it with your friends and with your colleagues on social media. Thanks again, everyone. See you next time.